put a ledger here which is a level which is exactly the brick sitting on the floor uh, plus one joint so these are at 75 mil the bricks are 65 allowing for a 10 mil uh, joint the problem I was getting was I was putting this brick dead center on this center line here and I was getting 45 mil to that corner but 35 mil to this corner and of course I couldn't make out what it was and I was having I was using these spaces in here like this so I was dropping them in so you can see they're quite loose in there when you push them up tight I've now cut this little T piece off or made them in, instead of a T they're now just a straight I've dropped that in and that's going to be as thick as the joint and it looks perfect push them up and now I'm only getting half a centimeter difference from that end to this end which I can just allow for you know that's just going to be the difference of you know, the variation in the brick when I put them in I should better get rid of that and then I'll have even cuts that end which means I can then make the cuts all in one go I could perhaps do five at a time instead of just doing one you know putting it up going out getting another one putting it up you know with all the dust and the mess and having to put it away because I'm having to do it outside um, and this is a, a place where the public can move around so I didn't want the tools to get uh, stolen so I seem to have solved it if you're wondering why I've got it got the foam down here it's because every time I move these one fell off and I didn't want to lose any to getting chipped or broken because I've just about got five uh, square meters here so we'll see how we go see you tomorrow because that's the big day when I will start doing this Phew.